Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you one of the awesome new features we've got in Microsurvey CAD 2021. Uh, and that's the, uh, the enhancements we've made to the, uh, the auto add points to objects feature. Um, but in order to illustrate that, I'm just going to show you uh, a bit of a workflow here. Um, so I've got a drawing here that came from Civil 3D. It would be not unlike something you'd get from an engineer or something. Um, it's got some points in it, it's got a surface in it, and so on. Um, these points are AEC Kogo points. Um, you can't really read anything about them. In Civil 3D, they've got a, a point ID and a description and a location and all of that, but all you can really see here is just kind of that it's there. Um, so IntelliCAD does recognize these points, but in the past we had never actually done anything with that. Um, so that's what's new and changed in this version. Um, so to start with, I'm going to uh, get rid of a bunch of empty layers that are in this project here. Uh, they came across from that drawing. I don't have to send it back, anything like that. So I'm going to purge them out. I'm open up the purge dialog here. We'll make sure that the purge nested items is on. And that will mean that anything, like if there was a, another drop down in here or something, anything in there is going to get purged out. So I'm going to purge all. And that'll get rid of all the, the block names and any layer names and all that sort of fun stuff. Um, I'm going to open up my layers dialog, or layers explorer, sorry. And I'm going to create a new layer here called Civil 3D Points. And that's just to put those points on. So I'll grab one of those points and I'll type in select similar. And that will select all of the Civil 3D Points and I'll put them on that new layer. There, done. So from here, um, I'm going to run the auto add points to object command, and that actually can be found on the uh, the MS points ribbon tab here. Um, that's this one here, um, or auto P is the command, and it's a little faster, if you prefer. Uh, so you'll notice a couple of changes on here. Uh, we've got this checkbox here and we've got this one here. So what this one's going to do is allow you to select the points as an object type to add points to. I'm going to turn off the rest of them because I don't want to add points to anything else in the project right now. And what this one here is going to do is rather than using the point ID and description set here for the Civil 3D points, um, it's going to use the point ID and description coming across from the Civil 3D point itself uh, to populate those fields in the, uh, the new microsurvey CAD point that's created at that location. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to type in all to select all objects in the drawing, but really we're only looking for Civil 3D points, so it's just going to use those. And a new microsurvey point has been added to each of those Civil 3D points. I've got my IPNs on here, so you can see that they're on. I'm going to freeze that Civil 3D points layer because we don't need to think about them anymore. They're now in here. And I can turn off my other microsurvey layers so that I can zoom in and out and read those points a little more easily. I can rotate that project around so I can see them. I can see they're all 3D. Um, and a, another nice new feature in IntelliCAD 10 is they've added some more new visual styles. Uh, so I can actually click on uh, Shades of Grey here, which is a, uh, a popular AutoCAD visual style, sorry. Um, and then we can work in 3D and uh, draw lines and stuff between those points as we need to. So I, uh, I hope you like the new feature. I'm really excited about this one and, uh, and the possibilities that it could lead to. So let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.